Howdy, Melissa here at Every Bloomin' Thing, and I want to talk to you today about tomato season. We're so excited. We can't wait to slice into those fresh red or yellow or black garden tomatoes. Um, it's been so far an awesome spring, and I wanted to give you some tips on how to keep and grow the best tomatoes in the neighborhood. So first of all, when you get your tomatoes, we want you to bury them deep, which if you've come in and talked to any of us, we're usually pretty forthcoming about that. And when you buy the tomatoes, you should bury them all the way up to the top because they develop roots on the stem. One of the only plants that you want to bury deep, but it's super effective in short season climates. Next thing you want to do is pick off all of these awesome flowers that you're so excited about. Get rid of them. They use the same nutrients to produce roots as they do to keep these fruits and blooms viable when they're young. I would rather have a really big root system and then a plant that flushes up big and healthy and fabulous and then let it develop the fruit then watch it struggle and not grow because it's trying to sustain roots and blooms. So pick all the flowers off, pick all the fruit off. Sorry. Next, trim your suckers out in the summer. If you look, notice, every plant has a main stem that comes up and then at the arch in the crotch right here, there's another shoot that comes in at the, at the intersection of the 45 degree angle. You go in with your fingernails or a pair of snippers and you just prune that out. It's really important to keep the suckers pruned out because they take a lot of energy away from the plant. And you can see how vigorous the suckers are. We want to keep our main plant healthy, happy, growing, blooming, and producing tomatoes. The next thing that we do is we find that in Lassen County, a lot of times there is um, irregular uptake of calcium and it produces little brown spots on the bottom of your tomatoes in the beginning of the season. The irregular uptake of calcium can also delay in the setting of fruit after your um, flowers start developing and your plants have developed. So you can use the, the Blossom Set, which is just organic calcium, and you can just spray the flowers and it will force the flowers to set the fruit. Awesome, instant, and mostly necessary in Lawson County. I do it on my squash, I do it on my peppers and eggplant as well. The next thing is, has anybody seen those awesome, gorgeous, fat green worms that with the long horn. We'll call them the unicorn worm, but they're really tomato horn worms. And they are gorgeous, but deadly to your tomato crop. So what you wanna do with that is, if you're into organics like I am, spray the spinosad. Spinosad is a broad spectrum caterpillar killer. So spray it onto your plants and it will protect them from um, the tomato horn worms coming and annihilating your entire crop. Anyway, come down, see us at every blooming thing and we can help you have success in your garden.